Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Check this out, man. I gotta keep this 100, man. Um, I'm gonna get straight to the point, man. It's gonna be guys like Joe Rogan and some of these coons and some of these, you know, casual boxing fans. That's just going to completely turn a lot of people off to Lomachenko because Joe Rogan just sounded stupid. This dude got 10 fights in and they saying he's the greatest fighter of all time. Uh, the greatest fighter of all time that already has a loss and lost to a dude who has double digit losses. Okay. That whole argument right there is pretty much dead. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Lamachenko is a good damn fighter. But he has a long way to go before we start talking about he's the GOAT and all that type of shit. And this is what I've been saying. And I'm going a, I'm to a tell you something. Joe Rogan, he think he's slick. You know, he think he's slick. He trying to race bait without actually race baiting. He know damn well that Lom- Lomachenko ain't the best fighter ever. He ain't even the best fighter on the planet. That belongs to Andre Ward. But this is what I'm saying He just proved my point about what I've been saying, that the media want the best fighter in the world to be non-black so bad to where they just willing to just not only put so much pressure on the fighter, but basically try to shame the fans into going along with this shit. HBO can't brainwash me. Joe Rogan can't brainwash me. Keep in mind, this is the same Joe Rogan that said boxing is dead. He always been criticize the box. He knows nothing about boxing. And I don't give a fuck if somebody come on here talking about the hate for Lamachenko is real. Who gives a fuck what you think? I don't hate Lamachenko. I don't. But what I'm saying is, I'm not finna get on his coattail like some of y'all is doing. You know, I'm just keeping it 100. And like I said, I can say whatever the fuck I want to say about Lamachenko, it ain't a goddamn thing you can do about it. Ain't none of y'all gonna do shit. What you gonna do, beat my ass? Don't think so. All you gonna do is talk the typical shit, call me a nigger, and all that bullshit, knowing that you ain't gonna say it to my face, and you wouldn't say it to my face. Because I'd put you in the hospital or the morgue. Whichever one you wanna go to. But anyway, as I was saying before, It's guys like Joe Rogan and casual boxing fans who really don't understand boxing that's going to play off of this. You know, for real. If you think Lamachenko is the greatest fighter of all time and he has less than 10 fights, you're showing that you're an idiot. And you're showing that you're fucking stupid. And like I said, you would think that you learned learned your lesson with Triple G. They doing the same thing to Lamachenko that they did to Triple G. And now that they're ready to wash their hands of Triple G because they know Triple G going to lose to Canelo. They know it. Triple G going to get his ass blasted by Canelo. Should Canelo get past Junior, you know, Saturday. They know it. So that's why they already did turn their sights to Lamachenko. And when Lamachenko loses again, then they'll find another dude. Then maybe they'll turn their eyes to Joe Smith Jr. Which, by the way, I think Joe Smith Jr. has a chance of actually being a good top 10 pound-for-pound fighter. I saw it. You know, I got to show a little bit of love for Joe Smith Jr. Because Joe Smith Jr., if I'm not mistaken, he's in the union and he's a, a teamster like I am. So, you know, teamsters always show love to other teamsters. I don't know if he's... a in the teams of union, but I know he's in some kind of union. So, you know, I got to show Joe Smith a little bit of love. But what I'm saying about Lamachenko, we got, can we please wait? Can we stop it with this bullshit? Can we please just wait till the man get at least 15, 16 fights in, and then we can start making that comparison and start talking about whether he's the GOAT or not? You know, if that's, you know, I'm serious. If that's the case, 
you know, Lamacheco is the great, the greatest of all time. Then we might as well say Joe Macy is uh, the greatest fighter of all time, the greatest uh, heavyweight of all time because he retired undefeated. Since we, I mean, we might as well start talking like that, right? And we know damn well that Joe Macy ain't the greatest heavyweight or the, one of the greatest fighters of all time. Like I say, they setting the bar too high for Lamachenko. And I think eventually Lamachenko is going to start to crack under that pressure because they got him loving the smell of his shit too much. And I think Lamachenko is going to start feeling himself a little too much. And he going to run into a fighter that's going to be ready to fight. And then Lamachenko going to find himself in a compromising position. Lamachenko is going to lose again. Okay. So. We need to stop that. And. It might be soon. If he fight Mikey Garcia. So. I'm just saying man. We need to chill on the Lamachenko shit man. Got to keep it 100 man. Like I said man. Just. Hold, I mean just hold on. But pay Joe Rogan no mind. Like I said. I already know who going. Who going. Who going. Who gonna start like making videos? Say, yeah, I agree with Joe Rogan. You know all the coons. You know that's desperate to get hits and desperate to get people to you know sub to their channel and shit. They gonna play off of that shit, and then that's how they gonna get a lot of casual fans and shit that don't know shit about boxing. But anyway, man, I just had to put that out there, man. I'm out.